Hello everyone, my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel. I am currently um, sitting outside of a Goodwill waiting for it to open. Um, it's Monday, March 1st. Uh, they open at 10 o'clock and it is currently 9.59. You can see the guy at the door is really mad because uh, the door wasn't open yet. Um, all right, so let's go in. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I buy things at stores like Goodwill um, to buy for profit. All right, let's go in and see what we can find. All right, so uh, every Monday and Sunday they have um, color tag days where clothing uh, is usually 79 cents and then 49 cents for any housewares, non-clothing items. Um, and then they have another color that'll run all week that's 50% uh, off. This store, typically, I don't find a whole lot of good clothing in. Um, if I do take the time to look, which I've started getting out of a lot of clothing. Um, I'll still look at the shoes, though, and the purses. So, like I told you in a couple of my other videos, a lot of the Goodwills uh, started getting rid of furniture. So they've expanded like this big section here used to be really open if you were to look at some of my other videos and they didn't have all nearly all the stuff that they have now. Oh, there's a couple lawn chairs I missed that against the wall there that I didn't see. Now I have to do a voiceover because all these Goodwills blast their music. It is so loud. Um, Here I found a backgammon um, game, which I'll end up just uh, piecing out. I always look in the dolls off uh, Monster High dolls or um, any other doll that I think that I could that I can make some money on. I didn't find any um, this day though. Oh, I didn't even see those baseball gloves up top there. I also missed these. <laughs> Uh, this section I'll usually look for any um usually they have old electronics. I ended up putting that I put it in my cart and then I ended up putting it back because I didn't realize the eyepiece was all busted and then the strap on the side was busted as well. I found I've in the past I found some pretty good um items here. I did end up picking that one up. It it was open but everything was still in there. Um I listed that already. I left that behind because the the one piece of it was broken. Now I did end up picking up this vintage school clock. Um, I have that listed as well. What I've typically been doing is whenever I purchase something, I try to get it listed uh, that day. I used to just buy it and then put it in a big pile in the corner and then forget about it and get to it whenever I get to it. But um, starting January 1st, I, anything that I purchased, I try to get almost all of it listed um, if I if I can, or I make myself do it. Uh, and I've actually noticed a huge increase in sales by listing. Um, I try to at least list 10 items a day. Some days I can list more, um, but I never try to, I never go below 10. I did scan a lot of those games and they, none of them were worth any money. And then here I just try to look for um, Trapper Keepers or any other type of game. I did end up picking up that uh, VTech game. Anything orange tag was 50% off. Uh, so it ended up being pretty cheap. I looked that game up and it ended up not being worth anything to uh, buy. There's a lot of people in the store and it was 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, usually this store doesn't have this many people in it. Not this early anyways. That camera wasn't worth any any money.
I thought those were neat. They're they're like spring loaded alarm clocks. Um, they were newer though. I scanned them and nothing came up, and I I wasn't gonna waste my time on it. I was gonna look up that clock, but I it ended up being chipped, and um, it I wasn't gonna deal with that either. I don't mind picking up breakables, but sometimes you have to weigh in. Do you really want to risk the chance of it arriving to them damaged or I mean, there's, you know, all the time it takes you to package it up, all the packing material you're going to use. Sometimes I just will let things pass because I, it's, it's not worth it to me. Those are just generic DVD players. I always look for the melted popcorn um, decorations as well. The Christmas, Halloween, Easter, Valentine's Day. Uh, this section was a mess. And I didn't find anything. And I dug through most of it. Um, I did end up picking up that Rawlings glove there. I looked up that other one that my hand's on, but it was not worth um, anything. I did put those, there's two of those I put in my cart as well, but after I looked them up, those weren't worth anything either. I did not look up that Spider-Man Pirates um, bobblehead, though. For $5, I figured it probably only went for 10 on eBay. So, I'm, you know, by the time you take out your fees and all the time you waste with packing stuff, it, you know, you're not going to make any money. You would make a little money, like a couple bucks, but it, it's just, it wasn't worth it. Usually they have good toys here, but they didn't this day. They made their toy section a lot smaller. It used to be like four, four foot sections of toys. And now they just put it down to like one eight foot section. So they pretty much cut it in half. So basically through the pots and plans, I look for Revere wear all clad. Um, sometimes club aluminum will do well. Um, if you ever find any copper clad, um, that does well, uh, as well. One day I found a copper, copper clad, I think it was copper clad. Um, it was a big frying pan. I only paid like a dollar 29 for it and it ended up selling for like 159 bucks here. It was some rare piece. I have no idea. Wish I'd find more. That was the only one I ever found. I've never found found one again. That's been ten years. Once in a lifetime find, I guess, <laughs> is what you'd think. Down through here, I look for anything pampered chef or um, or any dishes that are like unique looking. Uh, sometimes they can be worth some money. Or Yeti um, containers. Tumblers, I should say. I found two now so far. Uh, the one I actually use and the other one I just need to get listed. Then the plastics, I look for anything that's like Starbucks. Tumblers. Um, preferably not the ones that you would you know, you could purchase at Walmart ones that you would actually get at a Starbucks location. Or any vintage coolers. Sometimes you'll find vintage coolers uh, down through here. Now this bread maker would have been like, it was a blue tag, so it would only have been 49 cents. Um, I picked it up, but after I looked at the paddle and then the, the pan inside, they, it was in rough shape, so I just ended up putting it back. Um, otherwise, I would have picked it up just to part it out. It 
this section, I'll look for any unique blankets or vintage uh, bed sheets, preferably new. Um, sometimes I'll pick up uh, used ones if there's something that I know will sell, but that doesn't happen too often. And then in the book section, I generally look for any hardcover Harry Potter books, uh, but I don't, I don't find any. And I always look through the stuffed animals. Um, basically, Build a Bear or Dankin. Uh, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Uh, Aurora. Uh, sometimes those can be worth some money. As, as um, far as a Build a Bear, I try to look for unique Build a Bear, you know, not just a plain brown bear. Um, ones that are themed seem to do well. Or Paw Patrol, Build-A-Bear, um, My Little Ponies, Do Okay. Or if I find any Disney Store um, plushes, I'll look them up as well. But it has to be the Disney Store, not, not Walmart. Or any anything that looks old. Um, now that was a penguin build a bear. I thought was pretty neat. Um, I but after I looked it up, it its battery or its heart on the side didn't work, and then its beak was it had a lot of uh, wear on it. So I ended up putting that back. I picked up a puppy dog pal too. That that's a build a bear sky. I actually just sold one of those, but after looking at her, her face was really worn um the fur was coming off so i ended up putting that back as well i used to never look at plush until um i started to uh look some up the one day there wasn't much else in the store and then i was surprised at how some plush actually go for pretty good money I really didn't find any more plush. Um,
So this is the second store that I uh, went to. This store, I usually find a lot of good stuff, um, but this this day I did not. Um, I always look through the silverware, anything uh, Cutco, or um, sometimes you'll find like Pampered Chef or Pioneer Woman. I noticed some of the Pioneer Woman stuff has been selling for me. I don't find a whole lot of it either. Uh, or if you look for any um, Revere Wear, Pots and Pans, All Clad. Guardian Service, um, that'll sell as well. Some Club Aluminum sells too. Again, I always look for Starbucks mugs or tumblers, I should say. Trapper Keepers or anything Lisa Frank or... I'm not sure what that strawberry container was up there. I missed it. Here I always look for anything Napa Valley or Cutco knife blocks um, will sell. Some other brands actually will sell as well. Um, you would just have to look them up. I did put that in my cart. Um, the Billy the Bass fish that talks, it was popular. Oh gosh, I can't remember in the 2000s. Um, but after I looked it up, it really wasn't worth any money. And then I didn't know if it worked. Um, so I put it back. I did pick up this Guardian service. It's a pizza pan. Um, they wanted eight bucks for it, but then after I looked on eBay, they only sell for like eleven dollars. So it real. I ended up putting it back. It was not worth it at all. Usually their electronics little section here is cram packed with stuff, but today it wasn't. And then I also noticed in this store, um, they started marking a lot of stuff up as well. They started actually separating all the night clothes, Nike clothing, um, silver jeans, um, and even some like Target brand clothing. So I don't know what they're doing. This is like one of the one of two stores now that I've been to where they they started separating, especially the Nike stuff. Nike is so saturated that I don't know why that they would think that they can get top dollar for it. And it's not even like brand new stuff. It's just like a used night t-shirt. You know, nobody's going to pay $7 for it. At least not me anyways. I didn't really find much um, in this electronic section here. That would have only been 49 cents if I would have picked it up, but it had corrosion in the battery. And it was a little scuffed up, and it, they don't sell for that much. Um, I actually have two that I need to get listed. That was an older Sony camera, and they wanted 10 bucks for it. I didn't even see that Amish lamp. Probably could have looked that up. They wanted 10 bucks for that. Um, I wasn't dealing with it. I have actually have a couple that I need to get listed. And it wasn't like a DVD recorder either. It was just a DVD on one side and a VHS on the other. And I missed that bat in the background there too. I don't do a whole lot with bats either. I'm not that familiar with them. Um, 
they wanted 10 bucks for this. I didn't look it up. I actually have one at home that I can list um, as well. The only thing with those is you, you just don't know unless you carry a screwdriver with you to check the battery compartment. Because a lot of times the battery compartment's all corroded. And then you don't know it until you get home. And the way that they have returns set up here now, you can't even return it. Um, the only thing that you can actually return is clothing. And that's if the clothing doesn't fit. Uh, this section, again, I always look for anything that's uh, unique. Or like trapper keepers or... Um, well, anything that actually will make me money, to be honest with you. They just didn't, I was just very surprised that they didn't have a lot of stuff here. Um, usually I always come out with a cart full. You know, it's it's just the way it works. Some days you'll go to thrift stores and you'll have a whole cart full. Some days you'll walk out with nothing. Some days you'll walk out with one item. Um, you just, you never know. Um, it's just like when you go to a yard sale, you don't know what you're going to find. just part of the game no melted plastic items for me or sometimes like those vintage um, Atlantic mold Christmas trees I did pick that up but then I ended up putting it back sometimes those can be um, worth some money um, but not that one again I always look for horror movies um, vintage horror movies or video games they have video games mixed in with all the dvds you just gotta go through them some stores have them separated out this isn't one of them stores uh i don't really do much with like the cds though i know that there's some people or actually all the dvds i know there's some people that will sit there and scan every single vhs and every single cd and dvd and you can actually probably find some gems in there but i guess if i didn't find anything else in the store and I had a lot of time, I, I might do it, but even then, I'm not sure. Well, the only thing I got there is a pair of North Face boots. Just something right there I need to clean up. I figured about 30 